man accused of shooting a mother and daughter in Canterbury has also been charged with robbing the Ashburton Hotel at Gunpoint a short time later. The 23-year-old man who has name suppression appeared in the Christchurch District Court this afternoon. He was charged with two counts of injuring with intent to cause grievous bodily harm and aggravated robbery. Conan Young has been talking to neighbours of the victims and he joins us now uh, live by live view outside the Christchurch District Court. Hi Conan, lovely to talk to you as always. Can you talk us through the events that led to this man's uh, arrest? Yeah, sure. Look, the shootings happened at about 10 o'clock last night uh, at this very sort of rural um, property. Uh, it's actually a, a poultry farm uh, that, that's owned by the, uh, the the two women who were um, who were shot. Uh, the shooting happened about 10 o'clock, and then uh, the man, uh, uh, the police allege, uh, the, the, the same man, actually robbed uh, the Ashburton Hotel. That's a good uh, 60, 70 k away from where the shootings uh, have, have happened. Uh, the rob involved a, a, a gunshot being fired uh, and cash being taken. Uh, the police then uh, undertook a manhunt. The armed defenders squad uh, was busy all night and then uh, ended up at Rakaia Huts, which is uh, from Ashburton Hotel, that's further coming back. I guess the person alleged to have done this has backtracked back to the Rokaya Huts. And at seven o'clock this morning, uh, the uh, armed defenders squad actually uh, arrested the person, uh, the man that's been charged at, at those huts. So unclear at this stage uh, why, uh, as the police allege, this um, uh, person also decided to, to rob the uh, Ashburton Hotel as well as, well as carrying out these uh, shootings. Conan, you've been speaking to neighbours. What, what have they been saying? Yeah, look, uh, as I guess you'd, you'd expect, really shocked uh, by what's happened. Uh, they've described uh, that the, the mother, uh, uh, one of the people we believe who was shot, has been really bubbly, really friendly. Uh, one um, neighbour actually told me, look, this family has experienced an, another tragedy. About 18 months ago, uh, the father died uh, in a fishing um, accident. He was diving, apparently, and uh, we understand he had a heart attack. So, look, another tragedy for this family. Uh, another thing for them to deal with but uh, all of the um, locals that I spoke to said look this family's lived in the area for a really long time and they're really well thought of and that yeah they couldn't believe that something like this had happened. Conan how are the women doing uh, the two women and their immediate family do you know? Uh, look, all we know at this stage is that uh, one is in a serious condition in hospital, uh, the other one in a moderate condition in hospital. They've been there since last night. The police put out a statement and said, look, uh, this has been a really traumatic event uh, f for this family and that they don't want to talk to the media at this stage. And what happened in court today? Yeah, look, uh, earlier here today, uh, the, the man the police say is responsible for these shootings, he appeared in court. Uh, he was tall, uh, blonde hair, was wearing a polo shirt. Uh, we don't know uh, anything else about him. We're not actually able to say anything else about him because he has name suppression. That's interim name suppression. Uh, he uh, entered no plea to these very serious charges that he's facing, uh, and he was remanded in custody. He'll be back here in court again on uh, May the 11th. Conan Young live from outside the Christchurch District Court. Thank you, Conan.